Hello everyone. My name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta 7, codename Bookkeepers. And the SCP we will be reviewing today is SCP-018. Object class, Euclid. Special containment procedures. SCP-018 is to be contained in specialty metal restraint inside of a one meter by one meter by one meter Sealed box lined with heavy synthetic padding. The sealed box is then submerged in the center of a 10 meter by 10 meter by 10 meter polyethylene holding tank. If SCP-018 is to break free from the holding box, the polyethylene based goo will slow down kinetic activity long enough for proper retrieval by containment personnel. Personnel entering the SCP-018's holding chamber are to be wearing specialized plating found inside of SCP-018's observation and breathing apparatus before being lowered into the polyethylene tank. If SCP-018 is loose outside of the polyethylene tank, personnel are advised to secure themselves in a separate room and close the doorways or hatches to isolate SCP-018 until the containment teams arrive. Description: SCP-018 has the appearance of a Super Bowl made by the Whammo Company in 1969. It is 6 centimeters in diameter and colored red. Found when the company was hired to clean out a warehouse that had whammo merchandise in it. SCP-018 was noted to be able to bounce with extreme height. At first thought to be a pleasant child's toy, SCP-018 was able to bounce with over 200% efficiency. That is, if dropped 1 meter, it would bounce 2, then 4, then 8, then 16. The ball soon became a dangerous projectile, reaching speeds estimated at over 100 km per hour and damaging property and injuring 5 in the city of it came to arrest after several days in the nearby lake of and was retrieved by SCP personnel. Due to the speed of the object and the total surprise by its victim, no cover-up story was required or initiated. Document 018-4 Message to O5 I hope everything is well. The reason I write to you is because I believe I have found a more effective method for retrieving new or escaped SCP objects. Yes, I realize we haven't had any progress in reverse engineering whatever allows this thing to defy the laws of thermodynamics, but we have come up with a very effective method for integrating one of those new SCP-A5 armor suits with this. Just hear me out. We implant it into the bottom of a boot, rig up a little bit of a mechanical device, and ta-da, the suit is now capable of jumping well over a building. Also, if the wearer has their foot against something they want dead, well, let's just say it delivers a hell of a kick. All I need is permission to modify one of these pre-existing SCP-A5 suits, and you'll be able to actually capture plus any other escaped SCP objects. Trust me, when have I let you down in the past? Doctor. Document 018-6. Letter to Doctor. Doctor. Upon assignment, Agent was issued your modified SCP-85 armor in achieving SCP and the results are mixed. Agent was able to place the collar onto SCP, chase it through the Amazon and restrain it by dismemberment. However, due to a malfunction in your little mechanical device, it was launched almost a mile into the air and suffered two broken legs, seven broken ribs, a missing arm, and a skull fracture upon hitting the water of lake on the way back down. You will fix that before I authorize your armor for common use. Document 018-11. Message to O5. Don't worry, it's fixed. But I have some more ideas. If I can re-access some of the water from SCP-006, SCP, and possibly SCP, I can deliver you a set of SCP-A5 armor and an agent that can capture any, if not all, rogue or unattained SCPs. All I'm waiting on is your approval. And that's about it for this document review. This is also one of the SCPs on my personal list of what Dr. Bry is not allowed to do because he thinks he can mess around with it like this doctor did. Alright, well, thank you all for listening or watching. 
My name is Agent Paul of Mobile Task Force Delta 7, codenamed Bookkeepers, and I will see you next week with another document review. Bye.